Hello everyone, Gifted So here back for another pick a card reading and this is another special collab featuring V from V Love and Crystals, my good good friend. So um, if you guys are new to my channel, V is somebody that I collaborate with a lot. We are not only collaboration partners but we are also friends. Um, I am going to be using one of her decks today as well in this pick a card reading. This pick a card reading is going to be regarding what surprises are coming toward you. Um, so if you would like to see these messages for you, head on over to her channel. I'll link it down in the description box below as well as a pinned comment. Or you can find her at V Love and Crystals. That's V, comma, love, the end symbol, and crystals. I'm going to link it down below regardless, but um yeah so i have three piles to choose from before we get to talking about the piles please keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes only and is not at all to substitute for financial legal medical or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional free will is a way of life we're all in control of our own destinies in the end if you like what you see here and want to get a personalized reading please hit me up via my website or Etsy shop. The links will be in the description box below. I have um, a lot of services to choose from and to purchase on those two platforms. And I do sometimes do donation based um, sometimes, but yeah. So like, share, comment, subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. If you have not had enough time, just pause the video and head on over to the pinned comment or the description box and you'll see timestamps there i will see you guys in your piles welcome to those of you who have chosen pile number one again this is a reading regarding what surprises are coming toward you so um i'm going to look at this at the end and i think i'm going to start I'm going to start with tarot and then um, the eye candy oracle. The eye candy oracle is available for purchase. This is created by V Love and Crystals. I'll have the link down below to where you can purchase this. You can purchase this on her Etsy shop um, with a few other decks that she has created as well that she has available for purchase if you're interested. Um, so we have the lovers in recuperation. So I do see some surprises coming to you in regards to your love life. Um, for some of you, I see some choices needing to be made. You faced with um, a choice in your love life coming up. And I feel like this is, Spirit is saying the ball is in your court with, in regards to this love situation. Okay, so I paused very briefly just to uh, kind of get the lighting where I want it to be. Still not really where I want it to be, but we're going to um, deal with it. But anyway, um, but yeah, I do see choices in love that need to be made. Specifically in February for some reason, Spirit wants to bring up. But like I said, it's like the ball was in your court. And as far as recuperation, it's talking about like recovering from something so maybe you're recovering from a dark place in your relationship something that took time to heal and mend so a part of the surprise is coming towards you is finally closing a chapter or closing some type of door when it comes to um your love life um when i say closing the chapter doesn't mean leaving somebody behind necessarily it could be for some of you but for uh, most of you, I'm saying like, you know, letting go of something that is keeping your connection um, or that is keeping you disconnected from somebody in particular, possibly, um, and working through that. So, well-being. So, recuperation could also be regards in regarding... In regards to health, um, I don't want to uh, get in too deep with health. I don't do health readings, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, 
but yeah we have recuperation and well-being so a lot of you need to kind of dig deep within because the part of you that feels um you know bad whatever it is physically mentally is actually coming from a, d a deeper place than what you actually think so spirit is saying to get more research on that um and just your well-being in general um you know i do see some alone time too as well yes we get the lovers but i feel that i see some space from somebody as well from for some of you but it is going to help some type of connection here it could be romantic could be a friendship whatever the case is but i do see something being um something recover somebody recovering from something as far as like uh some type of connection that maybe kind of resulted in dark times but now it's kind of you're getting over that and a lot of you are going to make amends with this person or um kind of close the situation out and move forward so we have a child's love so um working with your inner child or possibly um some of you could be um spending more time with childhood friends people you haven't seen in a long time or um nieces and nephews things like that uh, the card reads, the love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first er Aries, they establish themselves at the, as the biggest part of our hearts. So I feel like um, some of you watching could be expecting um a child don't do pregnancy readings either collectively i might touch bases on it but as far as private readings i don't so keep that in mind um but um i do see you guys having a lot of fun um coming up a part of your surprise is that some of you could be like i said expecting now or maybe coming up and Others of you, this is just about having a lot of fun and just seeing the world through a child's eyes, just seeing things from a, a childlike perspective, uh, using your imagination. I see adventure for some of you coming up. Um, and for those of you that already have kids, this could be just um, a suggestion for you to spend more time with your children not saying that you don't now but to kind of um make time to do what they want to do to have fun and things like that and for others of you this could be a message from a spirit baby as well sending you a message of love and support to let you know that they're okay and that they want you to be okay and that they are here for you as well so um yeah so moon cycles Archangel Henny, y'all notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So it looks like um, there's going to be some manifestation within your energy, especially for the upcoming moon cycles that are soon to be coming around. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> um, as far as the surprise... I feel like the next moon phase is actually going to bring in a surprise message from somebody maybe you haven't heard from. And the reason why I say this is because this is like a bluish color here. So I do see maybe surprise messages coming um, as far as like maybe somebody just reaching out to you out of the blue or possibly them saying something that you don't expect them to say. Uh, maybe even a confession uh, be spontaneous yeah like I said have fun think outside of the box it looks like you're going to be taking some risk as well um, I just feel a lot of 
heartwarming energy with this pile. Um, I see your mind being more clear. I see you... Spirit is saying somebody's having an answer for everything. So I feel like you're going to be on your P's and Q's. You're going to um, be quick on your feet. So let's see. We have let go of guilt. Uh, so when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So, um you are being asked to let go of self guilt or um or regrets rather i feel like you guys are going to be freeing yourselves from a lot of guilt as far as like the surprise aspect of this um i see a spiritual growth here and the only reason why i say spiritual growth is because I'm looking at the flowers so in order for flower to grow you kind of have to take care of it but um, the surprise to me here is something growing something getting stronger something that you thought you couldn't get out of or make a way or you know find a loophole around let's see nothing will come of this situation void of course moon so I feel like this is telling you that nothing is going to come up come of you holding on to guilt and holding on to regrets and resentment so i feel like this is what this is saying so forgive yourself if need be forgive others um and i just feel like spirit is wanting you to give yourself a chance i do see some opportunities coming for you to manifest i see i don't know i feel like you might be journaling as well yeah so let's see we have positive energy so uh surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity so uh this is i feel like this goes back to this as well so you're going to be it looks like you're going to be removing some people out of your life or lessening your involvement with them um i see positive vibes i see a lot of positive energy being um you know within you i feel that i just i just feel like happiness but i feel like it's going to be once you kind of let this go whatever it is you feel guilty about it's not even necessarily anything bad that most of you feel guilty about but you kind of made yourself um feel guilty even for something that isn't even your fault so we have illumination and we also have for forgiveness like i already said so um yeah i see you seeing your way through as like when i see illumination i kind of see like fog so it's like you're coming through the fog as if there's no there's fog there but it's like you can see very clearly for some reason so another surprise is that i do feel psychic abilities here becoming stronger uh easier to detect um clearer messages spirit guys being very very clear um and responsive to you as well um yeah so our last message is okay so i didn't make that up i literally basically just said this um clarity close your eyes for a moment breathe in the blue of the sky of the the what of the sky feel a gentle breeze flow through you there is peace there is clarity a magical healing has just taken place a gift from your guardian angel yeah um that's crazy i basically said i did say clarity before and i also said clarity um i really didn't say directly the word clarity at this moment but what i basically said was about you receiving uh clarity and being able to kind of see your way through a situation where it's like you know when you're in a you're driving and you see fog and it's kind of hard to see or it's really hard to see for some people but i feel like you are going to be able to see right through the fog so um 
yeah that is what i have for pile number one regarding what surprises are coming toward you this could be timeless if you would like to be head on over to v love and crystal's channel i will link the video as well in the pinned comment in the description box see what messages she has for you and if we may have some of the same ones so i wish you guys love and light i hope you're staying safe out there please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next one welcome to those of you who have picked pile number two this is a reading regarding what surprises are coming toward you featuring the lovely v from v love and crystals check her out i will have the video and uh her channel linked down below in the description box as well as a pinned comment um please subscribe to her channel as well and i'm also going to be using one of her decks so stay tuned I'm going to look at this at the end. Anytime I use smaller cards for the most part, not all the time, but especially with these, I always look at them at the end. Um, so we're going to just put that right there. And I'm going to start with our tarot. We have the world and sensuality. Okay. So I feel like you are going, a part of your surprise that's coming towards you is releasing stereotypical releasing stereotypical thoughts or um just society's teachings on certain things i feel that i see some traveling as well or somebody very important traveling to you um so some of you that picked this pile i do feel are impacts as well some of you may have you know are kind of coming into your spiritual journey you're just now starting i feel or you're just now starting working toward like your empath ability um but a part of your surprise is um having oh no i feel like you're gonna have a lot of ideas a lot of things that you could share with the world um and whenever i see sensuality i do feel called to say that uh to people that it's okay to be sensitive show the world that side of you you have the world so it says some success is coming to you um and with sensuality we're talking about i feel like sensitive emotions um i feel like maybe working on letting your guard down and i feel like another surprise is that you're gonna have some success in your love life this wants to come up a lot we're not in february quite yet it's january 31st it's almost midnight here so it will be february 1st by the time i get through with this video um and it will not be it will be put out in february as well but um yeah so grieving so maybe right now you could be going through a loss and just don't rush yourself through a grieving process when i say a loss it could be anything it doesn't necessarily have to be death but it can be um it could be um and i'm not i'm not saying this is coming up i feel when this type of message comes out it's something you're already going through currently for the most part so you're grieving um something that you lost spirit is saying it's okay to be sensitive it's okay to cry about it and let your emotions out we all heal in different ways so do not judge yourself do not feel like you have to be on everybody else's wavelength with healing and processing certain news um i can say that maybe i do feel some bad news coming to pile number two but i don't feel it's going to be bad news like it's just going to turn your whole world upside down it's going to lead you to success and better ideas for the most part i do feel like you're gonna okay so i had to stop that for a second because i bumped into my little thing here but but yeah i feel like you're going to um thrive off of this bad news like it's going to teach you something it's going to bring you a whole new idea that is better than the one that you've had and that's going to surprise you okay uh so stay connected 
stay connected with the outside world is what I'm hearing stay connected on the internet as well that's going to help you with um, coming up with something better coming up with a new passion we have stay connected we are all born connected to spirit often known as the as the divine source yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world now is an important time to reconnect to the source so yeah um, I do see you guys doing a lot more research on something for some of you it could be regarding like empathic abilities I keep being pulled back to that um <clears throat> this is just about staying strong in your connection with spirit but also with the world like don't you know forget about yes i'm saying to release society's teachings about certain stuff but at the same time i do feel like there's a lot more to learn by staying connected um with that as well so stay connected stay in touch with people um right now reach out to new people um and i feel like you're maybe even going to really work on constructive criticism and accepting that well i think we all and when i say we all i mean everybody i believe we all you know we take constructive criticism but we sometimes we take it as somebody trying to pick at us and make fun um, sometimes it is the case, but other times it's just that we're in our heads too much. So, um, but yeah, just kind of not be in that mindset. So we have beloved one, Archangel Samuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So, so it looks like you guys are reconnecting with someone or possibly who if you're with someone now your relationship is only going to get stronger it is a soulmate connection those of you that are single you are manifesting your soulmate that is a um a surprise that is coming to you um but i with um soulmates though keep in mind that we have more than one we and they're not always romantic and they're not always here to stay those are the main three things to remember about soulmate connections so keep that in mind um but i do see some of you manifesting a long-term relationship with again if you're with somebody somebody new or if you're thinking about somebody it could be with them but yeah so we have breaking free um so i feel like this is about breaking the chains like i said earlier i already said this pretty much about releasing society's teachings you know what maybe you what traditional things that you were brought up with like you learned from your parents or those around you family members and stuff like that um i feel like you breaking free from that for the most part um and being more of you know just you and what you believe in so we have clearing debts so it looks like you guys are getting close to clearing debts or you're going to be completely clearing some type of debt maybe even karmic debt as well and so this reads your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by spacing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well um so it's funny that these came out at the same time um basically so breaking free and then you have it says you feel lighter and freer so you're breaking free from something like i said it could be the traditional things that we talked about or um a relationship some type of karmic debt or simply you know financial debt you're breaking free from that you're you're finally getting a hold on it you're strategizing hold your vision it's funny that i said hold <laughs> um so hold your vision um, this is about doing things staying connected to what it is that some type of plan that you have some type of something that you want to go through with if you hear a lot of moving guys that's because i'm trying to get comfortable in this chair um but um i'm actually having to try, have to stand up for the most part but just keep your vision things are going to happen that you want to happen but you have to keep your eye on the ball and you know not let that idea get away from you write it down so you don't forget it um 
and do it the way you want to do it break free from what everybody else wants you to do um, maybe you're in a situation where you're doing what other people are doing because you feel like they know what they're talking about and they possibly do but spirit is saying don't let them take over your whole idea okay so we have protection and i knew this message was coming out in one of the piles now not this particular card but the word protection is what i was getting before you know i was done pulling all the cards but um you your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven so your vision is protected and safe those around you are going to be safe and i feel like i don't know your spirit is saying your bank account your finances they're going to be safe um i feel like you're going to feel financial freedom financially free so thriving um thriving i just said that i said that word i said that word when we we're talking about this grieving card i said that word you're going to be thriving off of some type of bad news that you may get um but it's going to make you stronger you're going to thrive off of that and thriving is just about you pushing for persevering um and really just you know owning your accomplishments i see you accomplishing a lot so we have compassion um <clears throat> So I do see someone trying to comfort you. Um, so we are saying what would your three-year-old self do when it comes to this compassion message. So I don't know if maybe they are asking you to kind of have more like a childlike attitude. And when I say childlike, let me... Because some some kids, like, and I know I'm not crazy. I'm not the only one. Some kids really are, like, rude. Y'all, I've gotten... Hmm, I love children. I do, but... Wow. They are characters. They can be nice one second, and then they have an attitude the next. Like, I don't... I can't explain it, but... um I know I feel like somebody is going to take you seriously coming up and I uh, it's going to be somebody that maybe kind of took you not necessarily took you for a joke or somebody you thought didn't take you seriously um and this is going to be somebody that's going to be comforting you as well that's going to be a surprise it's going to be like looks are deceiving so somebody that once had an attitude towards you is kind of going to start opening up to you they're going to listen to you you're going to listen to them and they're going to be the person that's going to help you through whatever this grieving process is. So I'm just drinking uh, some water. <clears throat> so, and this is just about, you know, understanding someone um, on a deeper level. I feel like you finally, I feel like maybe making friends or at least one friend that is going to be there for you more than anybody else is what i feel but if you are having like if you do feel like you kind of have like an attitude problem at the moment this is a message for you just to say just to you know try to um don't judge a book by its cover for the most part i think we're all guilty of that to be honest and sometimes people really can't help it but other times it's just like like i said earlier releasing stereotypical um like traditions and viewpoints and stuff like that um this is about putting yourself in other people's shoes so yeah like i said i see you reconnecting with somebody here for some of you for pile number two and with that being said i'm not necessarily it's not necessarily having to be a romantic connection although it could be this is somebody that is meant to be in your life they are a soulmate uh whether it's a friendship a parent a lover whoever it is this is somebody for some of you that you are not in contact with right now or that you have some type of issue with right now but they are coming back around so that is another surprise as well and i see like heart to heart conversations with one another 
as well maybe you're that's maybe possibly what some of you are grieving here if it's not what i've said before and it could be both things that i've said um a big transformation where you lost a friend as far as like um just you fell out or something like that or you stopped talking to each other for a long time for whatever reason if, even if there was no reason at all you're going to be reconnecting with whoever this is um and it's just about you guys seeing each other's um perspectives like of whatever situation it was so mm. Okay, so I stopped and I did that because obviously I wasn't expecting that to pop out. Um, that is really interesting. And guys, like I said before, and I know I don't do that on purpose. Like, like I said, and I've said millions of times that sometimes people might or you may think that I like put these cards together on purpose like strategically just place them down beside each other no. no 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 so that compassion message is really strong for some of you so take it as it resonates because there's many different messages i'm getting from that um but it says when you show greater compassion towards yourself the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings so this compassion could be about self-love as well having more compassion and respect and self-worth and finding your own value within your own self um giving yourself more credit um and i feel like you guys needed to kind of get into some after uh after jesus affirmative uh routines like uh saying affirmation to help you kind of be more compassionate towards yourself and maybe other people so that is what i have for pile number two regarding what surprises are coming toward you featuring v11 crystals uh, please look in my description box and my pinned comment where her video response will be to this video and also her channel. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, subscribe to V11 Crystals if you are new to her. Um, and yeah, so we will have more collabs coming, of course. And yeah, and by the way, I don't know, I said I would mention which deck I use in each pile for her. Uh, this is her deck. It is called the Eye Candy Oracle. It is available for purchase on Etsy. Uh, so go check that out. And yeah, so wish you guys love and light. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And I hope we can connect again soon. Welcome to those of you who have picked pile number three regarding what surprises are coming toward you. This is featuring my good friend and collaboration partner, V. From the Love and Crystals, please head on over to her channel once you are finished watching this video. And if you come from her channel, I appreciate you so much for being here. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, especially if you like what you see, so that I can be motivated to put out more content for you guys. Um, but anyway, um, if you are visiting my channel first and you are you've never heard of the Love and Crystals or she has very a lot of collaborations and we're going to be doing more um again this video is regarding what surprises are coming toward you and yeah so i'm gonna look at this at the end anytime that i'm using this deck it is going to most likely be at the end that i look at it but i have it at the front because it's easier for me to grip the cards with that um I'm going to turn the light off for a second. Um, but yeah, we have the Hanged Man. And this is her deck that I'm using. It's called the Eye Candy Oracle. She did gift it to me um, a while back. And yeah, so. Yeah, it's called the Eye Candy Oracle. It's available for purchase on her etsy shop she also has readings on her etsy shop as well uh she has some great deals there um go check her out and i do have a coupon code for this 
if I can find it. It's a coupon code she gave to me a while back when I promoted the deck for her. It doesn't expire, but I will try to remember to go grab it. If I didn't, let me know and I will send it to you uh, individually if you would like me to, guys. Just contact me. All my information is in the description box or on my channel banner. So we have the hangman and we have rewards. Okay, so what I see with... Okay, so rewards are always good, right? So we're getting some rewards, okay? So that's perfect for surprises coming toward you. With the hangman alongside this, though, I, um... I kind of feel like this is about you getting to where you need to be on your own. You may have had little to no help in something. And whatever it is, it's going to work out. It's not saying you don't need help, but you did a lot without somebody else's help here. Um, the Hangman is, to me, a card of just kind of solitude. It's kind of, to me, the hangman and the hermit go ha hand in hand, to me at least. Um, so, yeah, let's see. We have blessings. So, it looks like we have a lot of blessings coming to you. Um, a lot of meaningful blessings. I feel like it's not necessarily materialistic things. But when we have rewards and blessings together, that's just abundance all around coming to you that you deserve, that you worked hard for, that you are, like I said, you're getting by yourself um, for the most part. Yeah, you may have had a little help along the way, but you've done majority of the work. I feel like I hear a phone ringing. Now, sometimes it is a phone ringing when I hear that. But other times, I'm literally just hearing stuff. So, I'm going to say you're going to get a phone call here, uh, guys, regarding some type of reward. Um, yeah. So, we have love. Okay, so this reads, love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that people, that propels you through life. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is about you loving what you do and loving yourself as well, but um, it looks like all three piles so far have one thing in common is your love lives. There's going to be a lot of surprises in that aspect. Um, but this is pretty much, I feel like somebody giving back to you finally is part of the surprise here. Somebody um, thinking about the things that you have done for them and now they're going to bless you because they've been blessed. So uh, that's another surprise there. Um, so overcoming difficulties Archangel Jeremel uh, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges so you're going to be overcoming difficult hardships maybe in a relationship or a job or something that you know has been kind of hard for you to get through you're going to get through it uh we have awareness um so pretty much just being aware of your surroundings i feel like you're going to be more um more I don't know logical I guess or maybe a need to think from a logical uh, perspective when it comes to certain things but um, awareness is pretty much just observing um, and some and when it comes to this type of reading I will say that awareness is likely about somebody maybe observing you 
um, in which you will kind of receive a reward for from them somehow possibly but like I said I do see blessings coming to you from somebody that you have helped or gave an idea to now they're going to bless you uh, dreams of abundance okay as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So, paying more attention to your dreams. It looks like premonitions are going to be a part of your um, abundance here, your awards, your blessings. Um, you're going to also get like a lot of ideas through your dreams as well. Um, they're gonna that are gonna help you overcome certain challenges um, I feel like you guys are finally going to be getting some sleep much needed sleep as well maybe you've had a hard time sleeping at night you can't get to sleep or you're tossing and turning you're waking up every five seconds um, or possibly you know getting to bed early or something i see your sleep patterns changing in a good way so that's another surprise i myself have been having a lot of trouble getting to sleep for the past it's been like a month um a month and a few days basically <sighs> yeah. yeah that that's a whole book for me to write but I understand the pain y'all so a time to give rather than okay so what I was saying before I got rudely interrupted huh okay a time to give rather than take okay so here's the thing I already said this pretty much about like you know a situation maybe where it was one-sided before but now this person is able and willing to give back to you um or again like you know somebody coming to bless you for something that you help them with um but i feel like you're going to be giving back you're still going to be helping a lot of people here new moon in virgo it says or in Virgo it says you don't have to be a Virgo but you could be could be somebody you're thinking about while you're watching this video or possibly in other areas of your chart or somebody you're close to or just the energy you're taking on at this time it is earth sign energy um but I do I, I just feel like somebody just giving you a lot and then but it's not because they're just giving it to you you have earned it um So yeah, um, we have treasure chest. So an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. I feel like you've dreamed of this abundance. Like whether it's financial or materialistic, whatever it is. You've dreamed about this. You, you feel it in your intuition. You know that something is coming and it is coming. It is coming coming it says unforeseen but i feel like you've foreseen it though i'm taking the un off of it because that's what i feel called to do um and the letter n for some weird reason is very important spirit is saying for some of you here so whether this is a person the name of a business first middle or last name whatever uh take it as it resonates not going to resonate with everybody so keep that in mind but i'm definitely for yeah the in the end in is very very important spirit is saying could also be somebody that you're going to meet so you don't necessarily have to know this person or this place right now it may make sense later so keep that in mind um we have action so taking action a chance to prove or show somebody your skills is what i'm hearing that's another surprise as well um i feel like you've been talking about something or dreaming about something thinking about something for so long but you never actually took the first steps to 
getting the process started but now i feel like you're going to have everything you need with this abundance coming this treasure chest this blessing all of this is so you can finally start this whatever this is so we have cherish innocence number 19 and that is pretty much a message regarding your inner child which i talked about in pile number um two if you're interested to see what i said about that um so kind of using your imagination working on your inner child um and innocence i feel like this is about releasing peer pressure as well not allowing somebody to make you feel like you have to do something that you're not comfortable with um and this is just simply about being yourself um yeah so divine intervention is our last message you may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill progress seems painfully slow yet this is a blessing it is divine intervention at work when the timing is in perfect harmony all will come to fruition so this is about letting the divine and the universe do what it needs to do um i don't know i'm being called to come back to number this card here cherish innocence i feel like somebody's giving you a second chance at something or you giving somebody else a second chance or maybe could be both uh but anyway um Things are going to be coming together for you guys. You finally have the ingredients you need for success in whatever endeavor you are thinking about. Or, um, you know, just whatever is going on in your life. Things are going to come together. There's going to be progress. It's not going to be right away. So don't fret if, you know, things take a while. Or if you feel like things... The Spirit is saying that things have to get worse sometimes before they get better so uh just take even the blessings in that there's a blessing and even you know that type of situation and this is cliche for me to say but i'm going to say that there is a light at the end of this tunnel for you guys so that is what i see for you guys in regards to what surprises are coming up for you um again the love and crystals video will be linked down below in the description box as well as a pinned comment she has readings and decks for sale on her etsy shop if you're interested um like i said uh, where are you this is her eye candy oracle this comes from that deck uh that's what the back looks like i have a video a full flip through and i do also a pick a card reading using this deck in that video so just look for the video um on my channel titled the eye candy oracle um, I'm pretty sure I have her name in the title, but if not, it's, you know, you'll be able to find it. Um, but yeah, I do a full flip through there as well. She also has videos on these decks as well. If you're interested in seeing her, uh, reviews and what she has to say about her decks and why she created them and everything. So, um, I, she has playlists on her channel where you can find all of that for the most part. If you want to see my review of her fortune cookie oracle and her um, eye candy oracle, you'll be able to find it. Just um, yeah, just remember those names: the eye candy oracle by V Love and Crystals and the fortune cookie oracle by V Love and Crystals. And I will soon be uh, getting more of her decks as well. So. Um, but anyway, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you learned anything from this video. If anything resonated currently. What did you think? Um, and any other suggestions for me and V to do as collaborations or as individuals. So, um, yeah. If you like personalized readings, links will be in the description box below. And a pinned comment as well. Um, and yeah. So, I wish you guys love and light. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope that we can connect again soon.